In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called writing and evaluating a function modeling continuous exponential growth or decay given two outputs. And in this example, we're told there's a certain culture of bacteria that has a population of 10 and that the population grows with continuous exponential growth and that after 17 days, there are 28 bacteria. And for question A, we're asked to fill in the missing values in the equation that represents this exponential growth. And we'll start with the general formula for exponential growth and decay that says the amount of the substance would be equal to its initial amount times E raised to the power of R times T, where R is the rate and T is the amount of time that has elapsed. And for this example, we know the initial population is 10, but we don't know what the rate will be. So I can use the information provided to calculate the rate. And we know that after 17 days, there are 28 bacteria from an original 10. We can substitute those values in. The final amount will be 28 bacteria equals the initial 10 bacteria times E raised to the R which we don't know, but the time is 17. From here, the only variable is r, so we can solve for r first by dividing both sides by 10. This gives us a 2.8 equals e to the r times 17, or 17r. And from here to solve for r, since r is in the exponent, I'll need to use logarithms. And since I have a base e, I can use natural logs on both sides. This gives me the natural log of 2.8 equals the natural log and the base E cancels to bring down the 17R. And then dividing both sides by 17, we have R equals the natural log of 2.8 over 17. I can now write the formula in part A that says Y equals the initial amount, which I know from the description was 10, times E raised to the R, which I now know is the ln of 2.8 over 17, times T. And now that we have this formula for part B, we're asked to figure out how many bacteria would be left after 21 days. So here we can substitute directly in to this equation and have Y equals 10 E to the ln of 2.8 over 17 times 21 for the amount of time. And from here, we can use a tool such as Desmos to make sure that we're not doing any intermediate computations that could lead to rounding errors. And since we're asked to give the bacteria to the nearest whole number, my solution here will round up to 36 bacteria after 21 days.